Hello everybody, in this next batch of videos, what I'm gonna be focusing on here is primarily how to use Microsoft Excel to perform a lot of the data analysis that may be required in your statistics course. A lot of instructors use different software. There's a lot of different softwares out there um, that do much of the same thing. Microsoft Excel, I find, is pretty straightforward for simple data analysis hypothesis testing and regression analysis. And most students find it's relatively easy to work with because when they come into my class, they tend to already have some exposure to the Microsoft Office environment. And it's very, very nicely integrated. So it's, it's easy enough to perform some analysis in Microsoft Excel, and then copy and paste that into a Word document or into a PowerPoint presentation or something like this. So what we're gonna do here, I'm not gonna talk much about um, statistical analysis and the theory. I'm gonna focus on how to do things in Excel. If you want some uh, instruction on the theory and the interpretation and really developing an understanding of the statistical analysis itself, well, then I've got a whole other series of videos and, and workbooks with practice problems specifically for that purpose. Here, we're gonna focus on Microsoft Excel and we're gonna focus on how to use the data analysis add-in, which comes with Excel, but you have to make sure that it is active within your software. Now, depending on what you're using, if you're using a, an Apple a MacBook or iMac, or if you're using a Windows-based PC, the way that you go about adding in the data analysis tool pack is a little bit different. Here, I'm using an iMac, and so I need to make sure that it's, it's active. If I go into Tools, and I come down here, I can see here's my Excel add-ins. I click here, and so here's a couple of the add-ins that, that I have. I wanna make sure for the purpose of this analysis, that analysis tool pack, that it is clicked here. And then I'm gonna hit okay. And now when I come to my data tab, I can see I've got my data analysis is over here. And so this pops up the window and, and gives us a number of different data analysis tools that throughout this series of videos, we'll walk through how to use a few of them. Maybe not all of them, but at least the ones that are most relevant for the type of analysis, at least that I teach in my classes. If you have a Windows-based PC, you can uh, do a quick search, and I just did a search here for uh, data analysis tool pack in Excel and it brings up, here's the instructions for the Mac OS, here's the instructions for a Windows-based PC, and that will walk through how to add on that data analysis tool pack uh, so that you have access to it in your Excel, okay? So that gets us going, we've got our software ready, we've got our data analysis here, some of the practice problems that we're going to be working on, or I shouldn't say practice problems, but some of the examples that we're gonna work with will use both the data analysis pack as well as directly entering some formulas into uh, an Excel spreadsheet to get the numbers that we want. So we're all set up, let's get started.